And this morning we're learning more about the criminal history of a man shot by police over the weekend during the end of a chase there. 42 year old George Leakman is accused of ramming multiple squad cars with stolen truck and hurting several officers too. Our Samantha Johnson is live outside of IMPD headquarters with how those officers are doing this morning, Samantha. Well, Julia, we know the injured officers are all home from the hospital. They are on administrative leave during this investigation. As for Leachman, we are looking into his past run ins with police, and we've been reading through the records that show this is not the first time he's done something like this. So this weekend's incident happened over on the east side. That's where there was a traffic stop when officers tried to pull over a stolen truck. Police say Leachman was behind the wheel, put the truck in reverse and slammed into a squad car. That then led to a chase where police say Leachman hit two more patrol cars, injuring a total of three Metro Police officers. At some point, we know two officers shot at Leachman, injuring him. We talked to Lieutenant Shane Foley with IMPD moments after that chase ended. Take a listen. It's certainly uncommon. Um, I'm not familiar with any recent that are to this extent where three police vehicles were disabled. So we dug into Leachman's past and found this. In 2018, IMPD had a similar encounter trying to pull over a stolen truck. That's when police say Leachman put the truck in reverse and backed onto an officer's car. He ultimately pled guilty to resisting police and was sent to prison. And then just one year earlier, Leachman pleaded guilty to ramming several police cars during a chase, injuring two officers that time. He was supposed to be on GPS monitoring, but police say Leachman removed that ankle monitor and took off. Right now, police are calling Leachman a serious violent felon. He has not been formally charged yet for this latest incident, but we do expect that to happen in the coming days. We're live in Indianapolis this morning. Samantha Johnson, 13 News.